Um, he did a series of matches with Andre the Giant, Ugh. and he was like coming to the end. And your memories of those? <laughs> Andre tried to kill me <laughs> in Madison Square Garden. My last match with New York in '87. Uh, Andre thought I was just a kid. You know, I worked on top for about. Nine months with Hogan. Yeah. His tag team partner, me against Andre and DiBiase. Right. And then I guess Andre thought I was getting too cocky or whatever he thought. Yeah. You know, so, you know, I used to do that little thing where a guy go grab you, I roll up. Yeah. Go to grab me, I roll up. Well, he said one more time, and I went to roll up, and he stepped right on my head. Oh. <laughs> he picked me up, and he tried choking me out, and I was going, oh, God, don't go out, don't go out. Yeah. Madison Square Garden main event sold out. Yeah. He can't pass out. And, and, he just beat me up, and, and you know, and he didn't hurt me, but you know, he he was laying him in. He just got so blowed up, beat me up. I said, "Look, boss, you <laughs> yeah. hurt me." You know, I, and I didn't want to hurt him or nothing like that, because if I would have did that, I would have been a jerk, you know. So I just stuck it out, and, and then before he pinned me, he sat on me six times, and then covered me. You know, <laughs> and then in, in Memphis, Nashville, Nashville Coliseum, you know, I'm in the match, and Andre, I hit him with a tackle, boom. I hit him with another tackle, boom. Mm -hmm. You know, he takes the big bump, boom, crowd goes nuts. He, he goes headbutt, I drop the big headbutt. One more, I drop another <laughs> headbutt, one more. As I'm in midair, Andre goes like this, poof! Oh. <laughs> you know, so that was the end of that match. And, and then, I, I, you know, it was, I got to make it, you know, to talk to Andre in Mexico before he died. Oh yeah. Cool story, Mexico, man, check this out. Yeah. This is me, Coquina, versus uh, me, Coquina, Bad News Allen, Dos yeah. Mascaras, Cornet, and Andre the Giant. Yeah. Andre the Giant's drinking. Huh. He's a big drinker, big time. I mean, oh, really? drink 100 bottles of beer, you wouldn't even see it in his hand. <laughs> He's drinking Clamato juice and Mascal tequila oh. all day. He gets in the ring, so they, they're, doing, they're doing something where Allen mm. apparently took a bump. Andre grabs the ropes to do his sit. Yeah. And as he sits on top of Bad News, Alan Coas, he shits. <laughs> <laughs> All over. Uh, Diarrhea. Uh, Tequila, uh, Clamato juice, Hershey squirts, running down. Uh, oh, man. Running down his neck. And now Alan's like this. Get the fuck off of me. And his smell was so bad. I was like, oh, no, oh, it's just hilarious, right? Oh, that's great. And every time he went to get up, he shit more. <laughs> you know, because it was like, oh, yeah. God. And every time he moved, it was like, wolf, wolf. <laughs> oh, it was the nastiest, grossest, funniest thing you ever wanted to see. Oh, God. Great story. I made up with Andre. I confronted him, asked him why. And, you know, he says, well, you know, I'm sorry and all that. And we became decent friends. And, you know, I'm sorry to see him pass away because... Like I said, I'm, I'm, I don't wish nothing bad on anybody. Right. And in this business, whatever you could get from the promoters, whether you're like Shawn Michaels, a big jerk, <laughs> but whatever you could get, God bless you, because the boys need it and, and the promoters make enough money. So right. Andre was all right. Man. Cool. Um, you alluded to it earlier. You uh, you went around, you teamed with Hogan, you know, going against DiBiase and either Virgil or Andre in some cities. Yeah. Um, what was Hogan like? I mean, was he... You know, what was he like as a partner, as a, a co-employee? Co Terry was the greatest guy in the world, man. Yeah. Dynamite dude. Real good people. Yeah. Um, a, a lot of people tried to stab him in the back. I mean, he did help a lot of people out. And when the shit hit the fan, they all jumped on the, you know, the defense bandwagon yeah. and, and, and tried to prosecute him. And he really didn't deserve that. Uh, he, he, I have a lot of respect for for. You know, Terry, um, he's a great guy, man. He really is, as, at least far as much as I knew him. He was a great tag team partner. He taught me a lot. Uh, he always stepped up to the plate, you know, and as limited as he was, you know, he had that little finger, you know, yeah. like that. And it was incredible, man. You know, me and Humper thinking and freaking Hulk doing the Three Stooges. <laughs> in the yeah. It's just unbelievable. Every house sold out. It's a great business, a great guy, good partner. Oh, wow. Where Was was Hogan, uh, along with the other veterans there, were they helpful to you too? Uh, oh, yeah, you yeah. know, um, you know, I had George Steele and, and uh, <sighs> Terry and, and Teddy. Teddy, great guy. Teddy, yeah. guys, good people, man, man of God. 
uh, it re rehabilitated, and then you had the the like Jake the Snake, who was still as far as the ability that he had was phenomenal. He was a great talent, yeah. and uh, would would share that, and Macho Man would share that, and. and you know, it's, the list goes on and on and on. I mean, all the old timers back then, you know, I was a hot commodity. I was a good talent. Yeah. And, and whenever I worked, they knew they'd have an easy night, a good match. And, and they all wanted to work with me. So they all, you know, they taught me, they helped me out a lot.